Hello and welcome to the Handy Capable Black Woman Throne Room. My view of humanity is a whole new tea. And uh, let's just say, Happy Disability Independence Day. Part two, of course, part two, because just like my life, this is going to be a series. And so... I think I left off talking about, yeah, you may hear noise in the background, but you know what? My life's a series and it's full of mess and it's full of noise. So, and yeah, if it doesn't have noise, mm, it's kind of boring, isn't it? So anyway, anyway, um, I think I left off talking about the zoo and how I met some pretty amazing customers while I work there and learning and observing their their love, compassion, excitement, because once I was able to be more empathetic and dive in, dig in to see how can I cater to you? How can I make sure you smile? How can I make sure you're enjoying life in this experience? It made my life so much better. And at the same time, after I got diagnosed and I started feeling sorry for myself and because I literally was crawling for months, months. I had to have surgery. And then after the surgery, doctors were blaming me for not like with a snap of a finger being cured and healed and everything. And then over a year and a half of tests and each test was coming back normal, which, okay, if you have an undiagnosed disability and they're still trying to figure it out, I understand, be patient, be understanding, love yourself. Don't fall in the pit, pit of just self discouragement, hate and unknown like I did, because I did, I did. Don't fall for, yeah, don't fall into that pit because in some ways I'm still trying to get out of it. For years, doctors were telling me nothing was wrong with me while the pain was wrong with me, while the actions, I was trying to walk normal, but it didn't feel normal. And I it's like, I would watch others and then even with rollerblading or ice skating and like cartwheels and I and then when I did ballet for years and I went to get on toe and it was to the point where my my ballet teacher she was mean <laughs> she was rude but it's like she didn't know about my disability but she was mean she and she would even talk to my mom say telling her I must not be trying it like who mm. Mm. Oh, and before I forget, go get a snack, get something to drink, sip and everything. Enjoy, enjoy. And yeah, this these this series is more podcast edition. So I'm probably not going to be adding all the fluffiness and all that. Like, um, later on, later on in later episodes. And oh, <laughs> just know that I think I did like three or four episode series a couple nights ago that it may seem like I am just spinning a web of topics. And during the episodes, I do say it connects, it connects. And I know it's, this, is, this is another story and another an example and look at this and that. And, but I just know, I know, I know it's a lot because after like over the last 24 hours, I kind of thought about the episodes and I know I said so much or I said I was saying fragments of so many stories so I hope they come together but just know that each and every example I am going to say the full story at some point especially once I start doing lives but I know I was talking a lot about 
DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. I'm going to be doing that a lot because the MAGAs, the Republicans, and yeah, that party, they are so scared of that word. For Halloween, I feel like I, if I dressed up as DEI, I would like that would be like their scary movie, their horror, or oh my gosh, if someone could create a movie about DEI, they would call it a horror film. But anyway, just a thought. And see, yeah, that's how those episodes are. I hop from one subject. So just know that's not how I always am. I think over the last, well, my whole life, but especially over the last few years, after I finally successfully broke up and broke out of the chain of dating subpar, pathetic men who only try to drag me down. And that's one reason I think some people are scared of DEI because they, since they either quit, gave up, or they have, they feel like they have no hope in what they want to achieve in life, that they, especially if a woman or a person of color is accomplishing it, they're just like, nope, you're coming down with me, or nope, you're only successful because of these differences. Even though for myself, With my disability, there is a learning component, but (laughs) I, like, some people don't know the effort that I put myself through to be able to study for tests and to be able to keep going and getting the knowledge. So like, like I was talking about in the last class with being a professor teaching college level, And students thinking just because of how I walk or how I look, I can't be the professor. They don't understand the hours, the concentration, the dedication, and the passion and love that I have for marketing and advertising and learn. Like, even like with my anthropology minor, it's like I love learning about different things within the anthropology realm too. And for I don't think I, no, last semester I changed it a little bit, but for the last three semesters, this one being a little different, but I found out about a year, year and a half ago that scientists created meatballs out of dinosaurs. And so I I had the students create a project where they were running a restaurant. This it had to be like a restaurant type of advertisement, but with dinosaur meat. And so I showed them some examples of resources that would be cool or good from a millennial point of view. So I showed like things with the the Flintstones and how we I could turn that into something. And I even played parts of the episode so that maybe the students could be able to you know, toss out ideas. And then um, Power Rangers, because you know that dinosaurs, yes, like pink and yellow, or like, oh, but Tommy, mm. oh, rest in peace, green and right, what's green slash white ranger. Oh, he was a hottie too. Mm-mm-mm. But um, I showed them the previews of the new like the power rangers forever movie that was on netflix i might watch that again too because that was really cool and i don't know just took me back to my childhood in a way and if i'm showing my age i don't even care um and then i also showed the show dinosaurs not the mama you know so fridays friday evenings after family member Family Matters, Mm, yeah, Family Matters, Step by Step, and shows like that, and yeah, they're, 
there's a couple yeah i liked full house but you know there's a couple people especially now that i'm like no nah. but you know full house is part of that gang too you know so but and there's yeah there's other shows too especially but dinosaurs came on and my sister and i would be sitting and watching it and it was out it was just so cool and cute and adorable but at the same time like the drama they put into it and then situations that families really go through it was cool it was amazing and so anyways i would show those examples to show the students like see each of these have dinosaurs in them and i would be show them like different scenes and then i would like discuss like okay let's break it down how can we do this and um some of the students were really cool and creative and wanted to dig in and but some of the students oh if you're going to take a class at least be a team player and if you don't want to be a team player then why are you play paying that much money for an education why it's like when I'm, it's like I'm spending hours at home trying to like create and you know do things so that the students can at least have fun while they're learning, and then I literally have students who insult me, put me down, and talk about me to my face and behind my back, and then I get nervous because like I want to go and tell to get advice or to manage, and but then at the same time, if I do that. Being a black woman, I don't want them saying, oh, so she can't do her job. She can't. So I try to handle it, but then they just get worse and worse. And it's like, I let them know that I this is like, okay, participation grade can go down, but I need to make sure that it's they know or because some of them lie and say, I just marked them down because I didn't like them. No when you're literally texting on your phone the entire class when you're oh, when you call somebody in the classroom during class and then i tell you to get off the phone then you swear at me and try to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i'll tell that story mm. or you literally decide not to do the project but then when it's time to go around the room you want to act like it's like, why am, why am I doing this? I'm not, this isn't going to be my major. I'm just here to be here. I'm just here because I want a diploma and I'm you're going to pass me. And I've had students who say, you better pass me because this is worthless or marketing's worthless. And, and it breaks my heart because, yeah, they don't understand. Like, okay, you're basically like, like I mean, not literally or physically, but that's like a stab. It's like, really? And I also at the same time, some of these students are the ones who say they're gonna start their own business or work at their family business. And then when I ask them how their family business is doing, and then they say it's not as good or it's, the sales has gone down and everything, I like in the in on the inside I kind of really want to laugh because it's like so you're taking this class and you're literally telling me to my face that it's a waste of time while you are li literally living within a situation where you need this the most hmm hmm <laughs> karma but anyway 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 these students, well, not all of them, because I, like I said, I've had some awesome, amazing students. Students who, once I get my business together, it's like, I wish, like, if I had their numbers or whatever, I would want to, like, just message them and be like, hey, my business is ready. You, you're ready to work. You want to be an employee? Can I call you employee now? So you don't have to call me boss, Marshall you know but yeah let's let's be a boss together and at the same oh one thing like one goal that i have once i own my business is i want to be able to 
be such an amazing boss where I'm training and showing like my employees, you can do this too. What are you passionate about? What kind of business would you own? Okay, how do we get these material? Like, cause I want, I almost want to do it where like once or twice, like a week or a month, I don't know about the budget or, but like, I want to figure out some way so that we can come together and have like seminars or teachings or I can invite someone in to talk about uh, finances and even like different marketing tactics. And because like, I don't know everything. It's like, that's why with my college students, I'm learning while they're learning. I'm always looking up different things from different like professionals and I'm reading articles and like YouTube is a blessing because like some, like some of, I remember there's, I might share with you a link to it. The, the creator of the McDonald's Happy Meal. That, that was such an amazing like documentary. And it's really sad where I have shown so many amazing, cool documentaries with my students. And they're more optional because they're longer, but like next time I'm, I'm in the classroom, I almost feel like I'm gonna have to force it because there's so much good juicy knowledge in them and it's to the point where I'm just like I put all of this stuff on the slides for you I put all of this stuff ready for you but then you don't like I it's kind of like I I take all this time cooking a home-cooked meal everything fresh everything good and then I lay the plate on the table but then they just go and get a frozen dinner and then just instead of just heating it in the in the microwave even they just lay it on the table to thaw that that's how it feels it's like i i don't know it's just but but because i look the way i do because the way i walk because of the gender, like a lot of them don't. And some people are not going to believe me, but I would be like sit in my classroom or even talk to like, oh, I had like, there's, oh, oh. like I said, I've got stories. I've got stories for days, but I'm trying to let some of the situations cool down. So I might have to wait a year, another year, year and a half, but. If you are about to be in college, take advantage of everything. It's like sometimes it's like some professors might be monotone and everything for the entire class, but just know it's like they're teaching for like they're teaching for a reason and they have knowledge. And it's like just at least try to take advantage of this opportunity while you have it. Because when you start in the workforce, you never know which of those skills is, are going to get you to the leadership roles so that you can make sure that you're going to have an abundant life. <sighs> oh, but okay. I'm going to, I'm going to start a different series. It's like, I'm going to close this up because with disability, you know, and the independence day and everything, I want to close close the door with it well i'm gonna always talk about disabilities because you know hello who am i but um just know that politically politically whenever i talk about the orange guy the impeached the impeach twice impeached guy or frump or yeah you get the idea you know who i'm talking about or MAGA's best friend, or the right, the white supremacist's best friend, or pen pal. Um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, um, hmm, hmm. just know that with voting and everything, because a lot of people want to say, "Oh, he's a Christian man. He is so amazing." He's like, mm, "Stop lying, stop lying," because I will put the links either in the um, details below or 
in on the screen and everything like that but just know which guy which past president refused or wanted wanted to refuse to have braille in the elevator which past president refused to the point like where people had to tell him it is against the law for you to refuse to do this for people who are blind but then his response was he doesn't want any blind people in the building i'll repeat he doesn't want any blind people in the building yeah, but he calls himself a Christian man. People want to call him a Christian man. Would a Christian want to do that to human beings? People who need assistance to, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then what did he do in 2017 slash 2018 with the money budget for people with disabilities? He, he, ref he wanted to refuse the money for those people with the social security and disability like benefits and things like that for people to be able to get the health care and the equipment and different things that they would need on a daily basis which one mocked a person with a disability during his speech that is that is such ins revolting insulting disgusting how dare you and he's done other things that repulses me. So, and I know people with disabilities who say they are gonna vote for the orange man. You know what, do you boo, do you boo. And I just, I will just say, vote. People with disabilities vote because remember, we were just given these rights or the disability Independence Day started in 1990 because of Bush during his timeline because people with disabilities were picketing and fighting for wheelchair accessibility and everything to the point where we got on his last nerves and he knew that he needed to make this change to shut us up. But I like, yeah, let's just say I'm writing some stuff, you know, for the one, mm -hmm, you know, I'll talk about that later. Because, yeah, and so that sometimes when people say, when are you going to be done with your novel? It's like you have all these projects and stuff with your business. When am I going to see the result? If you only knew all the stuff I'm doing, if you only knew how much work. And so when people say I only got where I'm at because of DEI, <laughs> you don't know how hard I work. You don't know what all I do, how much research, how much dedication, patience, and everything. You have no idea. So when they want to say that, and also they say it now to the point where it sounds like, uh, they, well, usually they say it about black women. And you know what they used to call? Well, no, they still call. And actually there's a, some, some people have said while he ran his show with, you know, well, the, in like that, that famous show in New York and everything with that famous quote. Yeah, let's just say he was, some of the people say that he was known for saying a word that starts with N. Yeah. And now they're kind of turning the diversity, equity, and inclusion into that N. Like it's so repulsive to be in a diverse, equitable, and inclusion group. Like the only reason that black people can get where they are is because they're black. The only reason women can get where they are is because, and if they don't have children, they're worthless. Oh, I'm gonna, I am going to cover that, just wait. But yeah, there is like, cause, and I have screenshots of men. I might put them on here too. 
you do not know how many men on dating apps say, if you don't date me, or if you're still single, you're worthless, and you're just going to be a cat woman. So yeah, we know who they're voting for. We know that they agree. They agree with the orange man. They agree with his vice, like, candidate person or the person he chose is disgusting but they don't know my story they don't know majority of these women's story they don't know the battle of having kids and sometimes the medical needs that we need in order to be able to have kids keep kids in our bodies to be able to produce because some it's called miscarriages oh yeah in my podcast Forgot which episode. If you go check out my podcast, I'll try to put a link. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I need to attach on here. If I forget, if I forget, just message me. And oh, I need to ask. Yeah, I want to hear you from you guys too, but now I need to ask a question. Um, <laughs> let's see. My, but you know, e- even if I don't ask a question, write in the comments about what you want to hear from me. More things about disability rights. I'm going to do the chemical racism and like soon I'm going to be covering um, like accessibility around the world and how con- other countries like use their tax money for the for the community and the educational system and stuff like that so those are like that's one reason why is that you guys are going to hear about the three or four episodes I did at in between 12 midnight and three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I like I know I was hopping from one subjects to the other, but yeah, sorry about, well, sorry, not sorry. Cause I covered a lot, but it was a little, yeah. <sighs> but I have a lot going on, but if you guys can write in the comments too, other subjects or other things that you would like to hear about, anything from, disability, people of color, woman, women, especially. Yeah, Vance doesn't know much about women, it seems. He doesn't know how strong and dominant. Oh, yeah, countries with that, because I remember I was in a, I was in a stream before. Uh, it was on the Meet Me, I think it was on the Meet Me app. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Whew. Anyway, and so many men, like, the men in the stream, they're single, but all they want to do is tear down women and say how women are worthless and women should just stay at home and sleep with them and women are not obedient and women are just want to be stay at home and be cat ladies and so many repulsive things. Oh, but I remember... There was this one night where they were just tearing women apart. And so I talked, I mentioned how there's women presidents around the world and they get the job done while on their cycles. And the men were like, oh, there's no women that uh, rule the country. Are you stupid? And so then I started naming some and they, were, they, were, they wouldn't even double check. They just said I was an idiot and I was lying. So I'm going to cover that too. I'm going to cover that too. (laughs) But ah, happy, happy, happy Disability Independence Day. I want you guys to love yourself. And if if you're still figuring out ways to be independent and and to embrace your life and the opportunities, because I'm still doing it. I'm newly diagnosed still too, but on my once I create my website because I'm creating a voting central, a banned books like community is in central type of thing, but also one for that's going to have disability websites that that will have resources and things for all of us. Not as like I'm, I just don't want to focus on my part of the disability flag. I want everyone who has a disability to be able to find resources and things for their community. But just know this is the Handicapable Black Woman Throne Room. I am a woman, I am of color, and I am handicapable. But most importantly, I am human. You are human too. And 
just know let's stay empathetic with each other and love one another. Bye.